Nigerians receive unpleasant news as over 30 people lost their lives. This is terrible as scores of lives we are taking in Benway community. So guys, let's quickly hear the details of the report. In another heartbreaking report, noting less than 30 innocent Nigerians where lives were eliminated in cold blood late Thursday night, as many lives were taken, discovered after a deadly attack in Benue State. The incident allegedly masterminded by the suspected Fulani henchmen happened at Ayati village in Ukum local government area of the state. It reported this threw the village into panic as the residents claimed that the local government council is gradually becoming a dangerous place to live. The recent taking of lives of the innocent residents comes a few weeks after a violent protest broke out in the council as the residents showed their anger with the gruesome murder of 11 people in Ayati community. The protest reportedly led to the destruction of both the individual and government properties. Unfortunately, the demonstration was not enough to stop the killing of many other innocent people by the criminal elements. The bandits allegedly belonging to the Ayugu factional group in collaboration with Fulanis attacked and eliminated and taken life of innocent people Thursday night. Confirming the incident, a popular politician, Shima Ayati, who is one of the community leaders and a non-time governmental aspirant in the state, revealed that at least 30 lives taken or eliminated have been counted after the attack. The report further said that some bandits received money from some herders, which is the henchmen, to graze their animals in two council world. He explained while speaking to the newsmen on Friday. According to the report, as they were grazing, they came in conflict with farmers who ran the government. The government sent security who went and pursued the henchmen away. During the process, they burnt their makeshift tents, that is, the huts of the Fulani Esmen were burnt. The Fulani Esmen became angry as they claimed to have given money for the land. So they went back to the bandits. The henchmen joined hands with the bandits to attack the village and massacre people. It is very, very unfortunate that 
this issue of Fulani men attacking farmers in their own farm has caused so many havoc and become a recurring decimal in Nigeria. This is terrible. Just imagine how can over 30 people's life eliminated by Fulami and men in the process of battle and fighting. It is very obvious that an issue of this nature is attributed to insecurity in the community. It is also obvious that Nigerian leaders has failed completely in the aspect of security. It is also clear that many farmers across the country no longer go to farms again as a result of being afraid not to be attacked by his men. And this has resulted to shortage of food and high cost of living in Nigerian society. So guys, what are your take on this? Please kindly do well to like and share to please channel as you drop your comment on the comment section below. Thank you.